Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Live with Sebastian. If you like that new intro, please go and subscribe to French Bacon. He really helped me out with the song, and I really appreciate it, so please go subscribe to him if you haven't. Now, on to the show! Tonight's shout-out goes to Steakbot TNT because, oh my god, this trailer is amazing. So he is making this movie called The Imposter, based on Among Us, and this looks amazing. So please go subscribe to him, because this movie is going to come out in spring 2021, and also please just support him. This is so good. It took him months to make, and it's absolutely worth it. Please just go subscribe to him. Show him some love. Now, on to the show. Now, tonight's guest is someone I really, really like his animations. Also, he's kind of new, just like me and Tiny and French Bacon. So everyone, please welcome Leopold Coldman. So Leopold Coldman, how did you start stop motion? Okay, so all the way back in 2014, I was watching two different animation channels. I was watching this one channel called Free, and I was also watching a channel called Black Rail Ranger Games. One of them did 2D animation, the other one did Lego animation. So I wanted to do the same, so basically what I did is I made my own Lego Minecraft movie. Except this was at the time when the official Lego Minecraft wasn't out, so I just made my own. And ever since then, I've been animating. Alright. So how did you find StickBots? I found my first StickBot all the way back in 2016. It was kind of like the new trend at my school. It was kind of like the precursor to the fidget spinners. Basically, almost everybody had one, so in December 2016, I went to Walmart and got myself a pink StickBot. Oh, that's cool. So how did you start animating? My first time animating was all the way back in 2014. I just made, like, basic Lego animations. They had voiceover, except the voiceover was so cringy that I deleted them. What is your favorite video you have ever made? Okay, so my favorite videos I've ever made is... The Lottery Ticket, because that introduced, like, the three main characters in my videos today. The Singing Competition, simply because that video was just so funny. The Hurricane, because I love storm-centered videos. And I also like my personal favorite, Stickbot Castle movie set, Stickbot Castle. I mainly just like that one because Stickbot Central commented on it. Does your family members know you have a YouTube channel? Yes, my family does know. When I started my channel in 2014, which two of the videos are gone now, I was only like six years old, so I kind of needed like an adult to make my YouTube channel. And ever since I started making YouTube videos again, like back in 2016, I sadly showed them my videos. And they absolutely love my videos. My parents love my videos. I'm not sure about my other family members, though. If a fan meets you in real life... What would you do? If I ever met a fan in real life, I would first ask, how did they recognize my voice from this person? And then, for the next 20 or 30 seconds, I would praise them. How do you make your stop motions? Okay, so how I make my stop motions is, I use 12 frames per second, because, like, you know, 12 frames a second, it's not too slow, it's not too fast, it's pretty easy to manage. And basically all my sets I use in my videos, I mean, there's not much to it. I literally just animate, like, under a desk, and I just have my sets there. And I animate that, I have voices, I stop the pictures when the characters are talking, I add music, and I add a thumbnail. Does your friends know you have a YouTube channel? Yes, my friends do know about my channel. They occasionally watch... And there's that one person that only watches my gaming channel. And then there was also that one person that I met in middle school that somehow found my channel, even though I never gave them a link in the first place. Who are your favorite StickBot YouTubers? Okay, so my absolute favorite StickBot channel, I don't know how much people have actually heard of this person. They don't really post anymore, but their name is Sarge233. They basically just made parodies of, like, the Stickbot show, except they're absolutely hilarious. Sometimes they had a continuing storyline in their video. They always gave free shoutouts at the end of each video. And overall, their videos were just really funny. And my other favorite Stickbot YouTube channels are, you know, the usual, the Kids Building Club, the Stickbot Central, Tiny T the Marshmallow, you, and basically a lot of other people. How do you get ideas for your YouTube videos? 
I get my ideas from my viewers from basically just situations that happen in my life. Most of the time, like for example, if this one thing happens, like let's say I lose my money, I can make a video about that. Because my videos are kind of, instead of being like adventure-oriented videos, like a sitcom story kind of thing, it's like real life, but like not, it's like fictional. And sometimes I get ideas from my viewers by just looking at other sitcom TV shows and stuff like that. And like it can basically be anything, like if something Something happens like an event happens like I can just make that into a video okay this is the final question how did you come up with your name okay so I came up with my name by doing this I went to my birth certificate and I looked under the name section and it said Leopold Coleman on it so I thought I should make that my channel name well thank you for coming on the show Leopold Coleman I really appreciate it please go subscribe to him if you haven't also, make sure you go check out the imposter trailer. Link in the description below, as always. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend, guys.